Yeah, hello, this is Matthias for marmoworld.com and in this tutorial I want to explain you the difference between the two tools Decompose Text for After Effects and Text Exploder for After Effects. So this is the tool I developed, the Text Exploder, and it tries to overcome some limitations that this Decompose Text, which does essentially the same, namely splitting a text into individual characters or words or lines such that each uh, character, word or line has its own layer. Uh, it Te decompose text has some limitations that I try to overcome with text exploder. So let's take a look at this. So first you have to understand that decompose text has two different modes that it can work with. Either you use original position using expressions or approximate position without expressions. Let's first go to this approximate position without expression and let's choose uh, this text here in accurate position and decompose it. And now you can see that the position of all the letters really changed a lot and they are not placed where they have been before. Yeah? Compared to that, if we choose the original position using expressions option and apply to this layer, you can see that after it processes for a while, now each letter is on its own layer. But if I click somewhere, still it looks like everything is selected as if it's one layer. Yeah? And if I now move this up, for example, you can see, hmm, strange, nothing seemed to happen. Oh yes, there happened something. It was just the A. It's like, it's it's really a single layer consisting of just the A, but the size of it, so the boundaries are not as they should be. Yeah? And if I click here again, try to select something else, drag out the second letter. Oh, now I got this C, now I got this one, the next C. Yeah, it's like each of them is such a huge layer and so it's really hard to work with them and this is because what effectively is happening here it is each layer contains the full text then it and then it uh, applies some modifier that make all uh, characters invisible in, uh, except for one yeah but this means still we have those large text layers that are not really easy uh, to work with or convenient to work with compared to that with text exploder let me qu quickly enable here the option to delete the original. Say I want to explode into characters and apply this. And now you can see the text is ex exactly located where it should be. Nothing changed, but still each letter here has its own individual layer, can be moved, can be whatever. Yeah, let me just zoom here a bit. Uh, it's easy now to like move this. I'm using my keyboard here now, for example, to move an individual uh, letter up. Yeah, You can see, you can easily select individual letters and all of them are really independent layers and the position is exactly where it should be. So this is like the main reason why to use Text Exploder instead of Decompose Text. You really get, get layers with accurate position and with accurate boundaries and don't have such expression constructs. S let's slow the project down and make it somehow cumbersome to work with. On the other hand, Text Exploder also has some little drawbacks that sometimes you might still consider to use decomposed text instead with this uh, expressions variant here. What are these drawbacks? Well, first of all, if you have a text with custom kerning and size, so let's create this. Let's say we adjust the kerning of this text here so let me just quickly get in here my character controls and say we want to go here between the K and the E. We want to go here like minus 100. Yeah, we moved the two letters closer together. And let's also just for fun select this S here and make it much wider or maybe let's even just make it larger than the remaining text. Yeah, so I modified no individual letters with the kerning or the size here. And um, now let's see how the different uh, options behave on this. So let me get rid of this here again. With expressions, without expressions, and text exploder. So let's first apply decompose with the expressions option. Decompose. And you can see the great thing is all of these uh, letters stayed in place. So still when I move something, I just move one letter and it has this huge bounding box, but the text stayed perfectly as it was. Now with the approximate position, decompose, you can see it's looking really not correct and the sizes and kerning didn't stay as it should. Now with Text Exploder, 
you can see also that the custom things, namely the custom kerning that we did here, and this custom s did not uh, stay, uh, so it was not preserved. Yeah, so this is a little issue that we have with Text Explorer. Once you start modifying individual letters, there is no way for a script to detect this, uh, except for this uh, expressions workaround here, and so a Text Explorer won't do this. So what this means is, if you want to do these adjustments, then do them after exploding. Yeah, so if those letters should be closer together, you can just select those letters here and move them over a bit. And now you have here your smaller space and also afterwards, of course, you can easily resize individual letters if you want. Yeah, But you cannot do it before that. If for whatever reason you need to do it before, maybe you could consider this expressions variant of decomposed text here instead. The same is for animated text. So here I have applied a little animation preset to this uh, text. When I play it back, you can see these letters animate. Yeah. And now, so let's create one copy for decomposed text with expressions, one for without expressions, and another duplicate for Text Explorer. And let me clean up and maybe get rid of all those la layers here. And now, first with the expressions variant, if we decompose it, yeah, now you can see that still everything animates as expected. So no, no change in the animation. Great. Now let's animate this one with approximate position, decompose. Of course, the uh, position again changed. And now if you take a look at the animation, it's also not animating as before because all letters in this case are animating at the same time. In other words, your custom animations are not preserved. Um, and the same is also now the case for Text Exploder. So let's apply this to Text Exploder. Um, is split into characters, apply. And as you can see now, also the animation for text exploder behaves like this, that in this particular case, all letters uh, animate like the first letter. Yeah. So in other words, with this expression idea to say each character is a full text and I only make every, all of them invisible uh, except for one to get a single character, you have this drawback that all your layers are huge and consist of the entire text with just one layer visible, but it has the advantage that all the little changes you did, animating stuff, d changing the kerning and so on, all of this works well no matter what you do. And with the without expressions option here or also with text exploder, you don't have uh, this. Yeah, So animations and so on are not preserved properly. So to summarize what you've seen, usually Text Exploder is a good choice because the characters are accurately placed and also the bounding boxes of your layers are as you would expect. In the rare cases, like when you modified individual characters already or when you animated your text and Text Exploder does not give you the right result, then the expressions option of decomposed text might be worth using, although then you have those bounding box issues. Another benefit of Text Exploder that I didn't mention here so far is that it can also isolate only a custom word or you can split in very specific ways using your own custom regular expressions. So in contrast to that, decomposed text just supports characters, words and lines. So if this is relevant for you, this is a nice little extra. And yeah, I think this is all I can tell you about the difference between decomposed text and Text Explorer. I hope you now have a good idea which tool is best for what purpose and yeah, Again, this is Matthias for marmoworld.com and I'm looking forward to see you in the next tutorial.